All right. Hi, everybody. This is Randy Dean, uh, the email sanity expert, and this is the first of just a couple new quick tip videos I'm going to be doing this month uh, related to a big new project I'm working on, which is a post-program self-study guide for the people that attend my live programs. Uh, this first one is basically just a quick and short video going into Gmail to show you how easy it is to take your emails and turn them into task, calendar, or contact items inside the Google Suite. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to jump out and go into my Gmail here, and let's go into the inbox. And I want to show you something that uh, most of you probably know if you're a regular Gmail user, but just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page with this. Take a look over here to uh, the left, and actually you'll see they have these new buttons here. Uh, right there is the button for tasks, and you can open and close these buttons as you wish. Uh, so uh, I'm going to actually reshrink the size a little bit so that it's not interfering with my video manager. But as you can see, you can open the button right here uh, to open up the Google Tasks feature. You can also open up this button right here, which is Google Keep, which is the notepad. It's Google's version of basically Microsoft OneNote or Evernote. And also right here is the Google Calendar. And what's interesting about the Google Calendar is if you come up and hit this little widget right here, notice this, it'll pop up into a full screen view of the calendar. And one of the nice things about this is notice that you can still get to your notes and or your task list in your calendar view. So if you take a look at the top of the screen, that means I can have inbox on one tab, I can have calendar on another tab, and if you're a dual monitor person, you could even drag this second calendar over to your second screen, so that way you could have your inbox with your task list on one screen and your calendar with your task list on another. This is not the tip, <laughs> but it's just some it's just some good information about how to utilize the Google tool. But what I want to show you is one of the interesting things about uh, Google that makes this nice. Uh, notice that if we go back to the task function, I can take any email. Notice I have a test email to, here to show you how to do conversions. I can pick up this email, drag it over, and look at this. You can actually do drag and drop inside of Google now to create a brand new task. And this is the task it just created right here. Now, of course, I can come down here right now and edit this. Show people how to make a task in Gmail. And if I want to get even more specific, I can hit the little edit uh, icon right here and come in and, you know, say which task list I want to put it in. I can add some additional details or notes. I could add a date and time. So let's say I want to get this done by tomorrow. I can even make it a repeating item and hit OK. And then what's sort of nice is now that you've got this, notice that you can even add additional subtasks. But I want to show you this, which is super cool. This is a link back to the original email. So what that means is once you make a task out of the email, you don't need to go searching for the email. Google will give you a link right back to the email. So you can basically just click the link from the task and you're in the email again, uh, which is very nice if the task is respond to this email or forward this email. <laughs> you don't have to go looking for the email. All right. Also nice, of course, if the email has an attachment that you need to reference. Uh, now, so that's it's that simple. Now, that's one option. Let me show you something else that's pretty cool, though. Watch this. I could take that same message, click it open. And now let me show you something that's interesting here. I'm going to collapse the tasks. You have a second way to do this. You can come up here to the top and click on these three dots. Now, personally, I wish both Microsoft and Google and all other software manufacturers would replace these three dots here and here. Notice the three dots with the word more. <laughs> because I think if they did, more people would click on these to see what's in there. But let's open this thing up and take a look. Look at this option, add to tasks. And notice it just did the exact same thing. It's now brought me back to the task list to allow me to create a new task. Now I'm going to collapse that and I want to come back here to show you what else you can do right here. Look at this, create event. Now, if you hit create event, it's going to open up a whole new tab in Google, in the Google Calendar. And what it's going to do, which is interesting, it'll auto-populate the name of this event with the subject line of the email, but I could take this information and just change it to this. Show people how to convert email into calendar item. And time, let's say, uh, let's move this out to Friday at noon. Okay. Uh, doesn't repeat. Add location. Home. Office. 
East Lansing, Michigan. And no, that's not my home office right there. And also I could even invite guests. And if you take a look down here, look at this. Look at this. The text of the message is inside this calendar item. So if you invite other people to attend your event, you can actually reference this in the bottom and you could even put a cover note right here. So in a few seconds flat, you can take an email that comes into you, convert it into a calendar item, and then turn that calendar item for your calendar into a meeting request that goes out to your entire team with the text of the message inside that calendar item. It's pretty cool. Wait, let's show you one more. Now, I'm not going to save this because I just made it into a task list item that would be redundant but i got one more for you yes i'm going to uh changes you made yes i'm going to leave let's go back to that original email and actually i want to go to a different one because here's one of the problems notice this i'm going to put this over here by doing this what it's going to do is if that person's already in your contact database it's going to bring up a little business card for that person where you can edit the contact but i want to go to one that i'm pretty sure is not in my contact database uh this is my online payroll service let's open this thing up and notice this if i just put my item over that add the contacts right there so isn't that pretty cool i have options to take these items and very quickly and easily convert them into task calendar and contact items now what's interesting about that let me share something that's neat about this by doing this if i can't handle that email right now i can't handle that email right now i don't have to star it and i also don't have to Click the checkbox and come up here and mark it unread. I don't need to do either of those things. I'm going to simply instead move it into my task list, move it into my calendar, or add this person to my contact database. And then I don't have to use the stars and the unreads anymore, and that's why my inbox is this clean. By the way, one final little thing before I finish this video. You're probably going, wait a minute, where are the contacts? See this little thing up here? I call it the Google Rubik because it looks a bit like a Rubik's Cube. Click open this and look at this. One of the standard options inside of here is contacts, which allow you to open up a full contact database inside your Google suite. So you can actually get in and find all of your items. And so think about the capabilities here. What this basically means is Google has made it remarkably easy to take these items and if you can't handle that email right now, you can easily convert it into a task item, a calendar item, or a contact item. And that way you can keep your inbox clean because you don't need to leave everything in your inbox. All right. So with that, I'll probably share a couple video links because if you happen to be a Microsoft Outlook user, I have a very comparable video which shows how you can do the exact same thing in Microsoft Outlook. Uh, so with that, I hope that you enjoyed this today. Let's go back and close this thing up. Uh, so uh, I'd like to say shift function F5. Okay, if you didn't hear what I just did, I did a shift function F5 in my PowerPoint. That automatically takes you on whatever slide you're on into slideshow. A little bonus tip for you there. Thanks for your time. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about me and what I do, uh, I strongly just recommend get out there, check out my website. I actually do have full-length streaming programs and webinar programs available if you click on the e-learning option or e-learning tab on randalldean.com. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. I've been having a nice growth in the subscribers to my channel, and I'm planning to start posting a whole bunch more of these videos this year and to give you a little incentive uh if you'd like to get a whole set of productivity pdf tip sheets i have a whole series of little tip sheets uh two to four pages in length on time management email management gmail usage and google usage smartphone tablet usage microsoft outlook usage etc if you'd like to get access to those really handy little tip sheets that you can use to better develop your skills and or share with other people, just send me an email at randy at randalldean.com, put YouTube PDF in the subject line, and I'll get those out to you in a day or two after your little inquiry. Um, and with that, I hope you had fun with today's program. Thank you.